Welcome to this belly dance workout. I'm Lila Isaac and if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a little bit different to what I usually do. Today I'm going to be teaching you Moroccan style belly dancing. Uh, there's a lot of regions of Morocco, so this is also my interpretation and of course it's, it's based on fitness. But the great thing about Moroccan style is that it's super upbeat. I'm going to teach you a little bit about it while I'm going through my warm up with you. So we're going to start with our knees nice and soft, our hips you know, about the same width as our feet. Knees slightly bent and shoulders roll back. We're gonna keep rolling those shoulders back. So the first thing you need to know is that the Moroccan style belly dance is usually performed by the shaka, which is, means the wise one. And um, it's usually performed to popular music, which is also folk music, which is usually called sharpie, which is in the background right now. So make sure you're swinging and you're really trying to reach all the way up and bending really nice and deep. Keep those heels on the ground. A few things you do need to know about um, this Moroccan side of belly dancing, apart from it being upbeat, is it's usually really, really bouncy, lovely. From here, we're gonna hip coming up and up and up. Knees are bent, bend, bend, bend. It's usually really super bouncy and they use a lot of hip movements and a lot of circles. So things like the African circle or the Omi is going to be used quite a lot. They also have three quarter shimmies. Um, I'm going to keep talking about it as I go. Lovely. From here, what I want you to do is take it forward and stretch. Forward and stretch. So you're getting this really nice stretch at the back of the legs. And... <laughs> Not only that about um, the history lesson which I'm giving you, you also need to know that there's a lot of head movements that are involved in this workout, okay? Now, I'm gonna do less so than what you'd usually see. Just march in the spot, bring those knees nice and high. But I do want you to do the warm up with me on the neck, just in case you do decide that you wanna do slightly, a few new moves with the head, okay? From here, what we're going to do is take that into a step hip. Lovely. While you're here, look to the right. And really try and stretch it out. Take it to centre. Forward. 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 Down. Centre. Up. Just a little bit up, not too high. <laughs> center. Side. Center. Other side. Center. Side. Center. Side. Center. Look up slightly. Center. Down. Center. Up. Center. Down. Center. Lovely. Shimmy those knees. So we've got knee bends. Knee, 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 knee. This is just our normal Egyptian shimmy for now, but usually you'd use a three-quarter shimmy. And as you go a little bit faster, you don't want to lock the knees. You want to keep them slightly bent. It turns into a shimmy. So while we're here, we're swarming up. Just leave those hands out and relax to the side. I want you to very slowly rotate your neck. If you can't do both at once, just focus on the head at the moment. Just trying to get you as warm as possible. And the other way, very slowly. Very slowly, take it your own pace. Lovely, we're gonna stay with that next stop. Take it to the side. Some belly dancers, they actually stretch to the point, just so you know, that their ears are touching their shoulders. So there is never, enough stretching when it comes to this part if you are going to be using your neck. Now if you have any injuries obviously do not use the move but I will give you much advanced warning before that even happens. Okay are we feeling a little bit warmer? Okay we just want to get those legs and this calf stretch. One foot comes forward we bend and we touch the foot. So like I was saying it's a lot about the hips. It's all about hip rotation. It's very heavy on the hips. You've also got these Nice pelvic kind of thrust movements that happen quite a bit, which is super nice. And it's usually performed in groups, at weddings, and 
You probably would be wearing this. <laughs> you wear this lovely, like, captain thing with a belt around. It's actually worth, if you like this video, doing some Googling on Moroccan belly dancing. There's all different regions, like I said. So try and find your favorite. Okay, we're gonna start with a really fun move, which is just a heel step kind of bounce. One heel comes down, the back is on toes, the heel is up. Now usually everything's on a flat foot, but I just wanna go through this little move. So it's back step, then down on the front foot. Back, down. It's a little bit of a hop, okay? So when you step back, it kind of feels like the pelvis is going back. And as we get a little bit faster, now my feet are really close together, it's just like a hop, okay? Very nice. I also think of this as like Irish dancing kind of thing. So this is how I like to interpret the hop. Bring those hands up, and down. And up. And you're definitely gonna feel this one on the calves. Super nice. <laughs> nice. Super getting that muscle in, getting fit, stay with it. Lovely, two more. One, other side, shake it up. Step, up, step, up, step, up, step, keep it close. So there's a lot of hopping movement. You can do them however you feel. I like this way of doing it. Um, Sadie teaches this kind of way. She's a lovely belly dancer. And I thought that this was a cool move. Very cool move that she uses. And of course, you know, Moroccan belly dancing, you can see in Morocco. It's not so common to see it anywhere else. So if you do get to go to a class, that would be amazing. <laughs> Just move. Okay, amazing. From there, rotate those right ankles. I'm gonna take you through the three quarter shimmy really quickly, okay? Your basic, now I've already done this before, step, step. Squeeze, step, squeeze, step. If you need more help with this three quarter shimmy, I literally have a video all about it and I'd love you to do that. Otherwise, just do this, squeeze and step, squeeze and step, squeeze and step, squeeze and step, one. This is your alternative movement to three quarter shimmy, okay? So let's just do this movement first and then those who can do the three quarter shimmy, I want you to do that. Now I've gone back because <laughs> I'm gonna be going forward. Take it back. Hands. This is a three quarter shimmy. Normal. Step, 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 step. Take it back. Stay with me. Take it back. Keep those feet on the ground, nice and heavy. Heels on the ground. Okay, if you're ready for three quarter shimmy, I'll go over it with you. Hip, up, down. Hip, up, down. Hip, alternative. Hip goes up, down. Hip, 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 up, down. Now, if you're just wobbling, that's fine as well, okay? I do not mind, this is your dance. But if you can get that three quarter shimmy really fast, this is really hard, okay? This is advanced, like I said, you don't have to, just step. If you wanna step, step. Okay, but if you're advanced, please do this. Okay, here we go, and I probably put a link somewhere telling where to learn the three quarter shimmy, somewhere. Here we go. Three quarter shimmy, you'll step.
other foot. Okay, we're gonna get ready for the next move. This is really fun. <laughs> this is an actual shimmy, but it's a little bit more of a hop. So I'm gonna come forward. We got step, 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 step. It's like a gallop, but what you could do is just go like that if you want, okay? You could just go step, 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 step. I'm on my toes. <laughs> my hips are wider. This is really like strong. What we're gonna do is take it back. Hands coming together, swipe. This is like the cauldron kind of thing. Like I said, it's very um, chancy, chancy. Your last one. Other side. We're gonna go three quarter shimmy, shimmy back. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. Shimmy back. Shimmy back. Okay, <laughs> take a breather. <laughs> We're gonna rotate those ankles. Rotate the other ankle. Okay, so while we're taking our three second break, which is not really a break, I'm gonna just go over one of the hip circles. So it's an Omi on African circle, and I know you've done it before, maybe. Um, knees nice and soft, but practice it all the time. Even I practice it all the time. Hip goes to the side. We squeeze in the pelvis. The pelvis comes under, under. Okay, side, neutral. Don't stick the glutes out, you just stay neutral. Side, tuck, side, neutral. These are your four points. Side, tuck, side, neutral. Side, tuck, neutral. Take it around. Get deep. Okay, get up. See how fast you can go. Find your favorite side, take it to the other side, see if you can do the same thing. And you'll see that one side is easier than the other, or it feels more natural. Stick to that side, it's okay. Better to be really good at one side. I don't know any belly dancer, if there is one, let me know, who can do both sides really fast, I'm sure there are. But usually what we do is we find a favorite side and just be amazing at that side. Or good. Or, you know, as good as you can be. Other side, find your favorite side. Very nice. And look to the other side. And the other side. Fifth. Keep those knees nice and soft. Other side. From the top. Two more. One more. Hot gala. Here we go. Again. Hot gala. As fast as you can. Okay, I did promise you some hair stuff. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, from here, what I'm gonna do is go back into this bit, if you want. We're gonna take our hair, chest, start with this, down and up. This is the alternative move. 
than getting your neck involved, okay? So we look to the corner, up. Look to the other corner, up. I'm bouncing my feet. Corner, so corner, up, corner, up, corner. <laughs> this probably looks really funny. <laughs> Very nice for you here. So alternatively, what you can do is head down and up. Head down and up. Okay, so this is just a little bit of the neck, not very much. Okay, stay there, put those feet back. <laughs> so you can do the little one, there, there, or you can take it all the way down and there, all the way down and there, okay? Now with the dropping of the head and the neck, you take it down, you keep that ball under here, you simply flip over your hair and then take it up. Do not bring that head all the way up, okay? If you have any neck problems or you haven't feel, if you don't feel warm enough around the neck, don't even do it. Just look forward, look forward and keep that nice and connected, okay? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, we're going to go from the top and we're going to talk you through the beats because it's a little bit hard with the music to get count. Are you ready? Beat. Four of these. Forward again. Hold. <laughs> and then this is the last move because I want to throw you guys so many stuff. We're going to do that same hop. And while we're hopping, we're going to hold our hair or hold your head, hold it up, and we're going to be hopping forward. So that same footstep, heel toe, we're going to take it forward. And we're going to rotate the hair around, okay? And then we're going to just walk back. No, we're going to shimmy back, okay? So the last move after these is we come back into our hop. Take our hand up, grab the hair, hands up. Take it back. Let's try that again. Take it back. Take it back. Okay, we're gonna go all the way from the top. <laughs> see how you feel, see how you get along. I think it's gonna go amazing. If you didn't get it, don't worry. Make it your own. You can even step you want instead of this. <laughs> See how you feel? Find your favorite foot. Let's go.
Now that was a really big jump in the deep end. I threw so many moves at you and I didn't do it long enough for you to even get. So make sure that you do do this video a few times for you to pick up these moves. And if you like the Moroccan style and you found this, I sweat if you got to sweat like I did. <laughs> Then let me know, comment below, and I will post more with different stuff. We got so many more moves there are to use. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like, comment. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.